Guys, another quick interjection before we dive into today's list. I wanted to first and foremost express my utmost appreciation to Shrouded Hand for sending all of my newest fans here. I'm so honored to have been on that list, and I want to welcome all of my new supporters that he sent over. I hope all of you enjoy my content moving forward, and I'm so glad you're here. Lastly, I hope you enjoy today's list, and now, back to the show. Reddit seems to be a haven for everything you can imagine on the internet. A lot of things that often go overlooked, however, are the posts with creepy and disturbing backstories. Today, we're going to be discussing three Reddit posts that I've found to have disturbing and strange backstories. A Reddit user named Daryl Pratt made a post about a year ago on the Legal Advice subreddit asking a simple question. His question read, If someone bans me on Facebook, can I make another account and pretend to be someone else? Or can I get in trouble? Clearly and right off the bat, there's a strange vibe coming from the poster. He claimed that he followed a girl who lives in California on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram for over a year and commented on every single bit of her social media. He even goes forth to say that she's literally the best thing in his life, even though he lives in Kentucky and she lives in California. This has gotten so out of hand that she's blocked multiple accounts of his. He then explains that he's thinking about creating another account just to see her content, although he thinks that she will suspect that it's him since he cannot help but compliment her on each of her videos. Commenters then claim that Daryl was coming off as extremely strange and he needs help. They then tore through his post history and determined that Daryl has a clear and distinct stalking problem with this girl even though he consistently denies it. They then determined that the girl works for IGN and proceeded to warn the company about this guy in hopes of protecting her. Digging through his post history myself brought up some creepy and disturbing posts about his clear obsession over her, and what's even more grim is that one of his last posts clearly references his own suicide. A Reddit user named Fat and Depressed made a post in the creepy subreddit claiming that he was getting constant notifications each night from his home security doorbell camera. He provided a screenshot of the notifications as they happen at random late hours of the night. The image that he provided of the alleged intruder is this. About seven years ago, a user by the name of Spontaneous H made a post on the AMA subreddit claiming that he tried heroin for the first time in his life. The first post began with a simple background. He claimed that he was 24, had a master's degree, and never had a drug problem in his life. Everything seemed to be going well for him. He then claimed that one day at the Washington State Park, a drug dealer sat on a bench near him and asked if he needed anything. He then thought for a moment, reflecting on his life and how he needed some excitement in it, and thought, why not? I'll buy some pot. He proceeded to tell the dealer yes, and they agreed to meet at a fast food restaurant that night. Going into the meeting, he claimed that he only wanted to buy some pot, since it's not anything too crazy. The dealer then said that he doesn't sell in small amounts, and he can sell him some coke and some heroin. He then reflected on that statement, remembering all of the things that he's heard about heroin, and proceeded to buy only that, and then was done with it. Later on, he claimed that he tried it, and that it was the most pleasurable sensation of pure relaxation and bliss, and that he couldn't even tell when he would nod off since everything felt so good, and after that, commended himself for trying it since he never thought he'd have the guts to. This post was then met with extensive criticism, with users claiming that he would get addicted and he made a huge mistake. This then prompted Spontaneous H to post an edit where he mocked everyone, saying that he's not going to become some homeless addict and that, quote, any drug can ruin lives, and then he claimed that he has no regrets for his actions. Fast forward two weeks and he posts another update. This time the mood was quite different. He claimed that at this point, two weeks later, he shot up for the first time and had been using heroin since the first day he tried it. The post opens up with a grim update with multiple misspellings and grammatical errors. It became clear that this guy was clearly becoming addicted and that this was becoming a huge problem for him. He then stated that he was attending Narcotics Anonymous and was seeking help since he realized that he might have an issue since the drug was even interfering with his relationship, causing his girlfriend to tell him how much of a problem he has. To all of the doubters, he then posted a picture of his syringes to prove to them that he's not lying. Fast forward one year, and he posted another update, this time claiming that he's a patient at a psychiatric hospital and that he technically died a week prior due to an overdose. Following this, he posted one last update from rehab claiming that Narcan was what brought him back to life when he overdosed and that he would be attending a long-term rehab program. He then expressed his regret and how everyone on Reddit was indeed correct. The last update that Spontaneous H posted was a few months ago, and he claimed that he's been 6 years clean and that maybe his life wasn't actually as good as he thought it was back when he tried it for the first time. 
He said that everything's been looking up for him and he's been living much better than before. The true scare in this story is that this could happen to anyone, just like it happened to him. The dangers of drugs are real, and this is an example of it. Reddit holds some of the internet's coolest content, however as we can see, there are dark sides to it as well. I hope you enjoyed my top 3 list of creepy reddit posts, and if you have any suggestions or other posts to throw at me, feel free to. Don't forget to drop me a like, subscribe if you're new, and stick around for more creepy content. Welcome once again to all of my new fans, thanks for watching, and once again, good night. <laughs>